Iowa Catholic Radio presents the Daily Mass from St. Francis of Assisi Catholic Church in West Des Moines. Father Joseph Pins, Pastor. Father John Broby, Associate Pastor. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. On this day, we celebrate the Immaculate Conception that Mary, from the moment of conception, was preserved from the stain of original sin. December is the month to receive Jesus, and Mary is the first to receive Jesus. For those moments that we did not receive Jesus in our neighbor, in the sick, in the poor, and the needy, let us ask God for his pardon and for his forgiveness. Lord Jesus, you are Son of Mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the splendor of the Father and the Word made flesh. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who by the Immaculate Conception of the Blessed Virgin prepared a worthy dwelling for your Son, grant, we pray, that as you preserved her from every stain by virtue of the death of your Son, which you foresaw, so through her intercession, we too may be cleansed and admitted to your presence. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you need of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. I will put enmity between your offspring and hers. A reading from the book of Genesis. <clears throat> After the man, Adam, had eaten of the tree, the Lord God called to the man and asked him, Where are you? He answered, I heard you in the garden, but I was afraid because I was naked, so I hid myself. Then he asked, Who told you that you were naked? You have eaten then from the tree of which I had forbidden you to eat. The man replied, The woman whom you put here with me, she gave me fruit from the tree, and so I ate it. The Lord God then asked the woman, 
Why did you do such a thing? The woman answered, The serpent tricked me into it, so I ate it. Then the Lord God said to the serpent, Because you have done this, you shall be banned from all the animals and from all the wild creatures. On your belly shall you crawl, and dirt shall you eat all the days of your life. I will put enmity between you and the woman, and between your offspring and hers. He will strike at your head while you strike at his heel. The man called his wife Eve because she became the mother of all the living. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in Christ with every spiritual blessing in the heavens, as he chose us in him before the foundation of the world to be holy and without blemish before him. In love, he destined us for adoption to himself through Jesus Christ, in accord with the favor of his will, for the praise of the glory of his grace that he granted us in the Beloved. In him we were also chosen, destined in accord with the purpose of the one who accomplishes all things according to the intention of his will, so so that we might exist for the praise of his glory, we who first hoped in Christ. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. The angel Gabriel was sent from God to a town of Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. And coming to her, he said, Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at what was said and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. Then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. Behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give him the throne of David his father, and he will rule over the house of Jacob forever, and his kingdom there will be no end. But Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I have no relations with a man? And the angel said to her in reply, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, Elizabeth, your relative, has also conceived a son in her old age. And this is the sixth month for her who was called barren, for nothing will be impossible for God. Mary said, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. 
May it be done to me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. The Gospel of the Lord. God is good. And all the time, the devil is bad. And all the time, Today we celebrate the Immaculate Conception, the doctrine teaching that Mary from birth was preserved from the stain of original sin. In Genesis chapter 3, which is our first reading, one of the most developed characters in the entire scripture is Eve, the first woman. Apart from having a proper name, Eve, she has three designations. First, in Genesis chapter 3, she is called the woman, the woman nine times. Nine times she is called the woman. Secondly, she is called the wife. Three times in Genesis chapter 3, she is the wife. And then finally, she is the mother. Now, this woman in Genesis chapter 2 is created good. And God saw that all that he has created was good. And so he rested on the seventh day. The image of a woman in the script, in scripture, my dearly beloved, is positive. In Proverbs chapter 6, verse 22, to chapter 8, verse 1 to 6, this image of a woman is wisdom who participated in the creation of the world. And so the image of the woman, my dearly beloved, is a positive. God created woman good. The first time that this woman is referred to as a wife is in Genesis chapter 3 verse 8, right after the fall. Right after the fall, this ideal woman, this good woman, is referred to as the wife of Adam. Now, Israel is the spouse or the bride of God himself. But in the book of Hosea, Israel is the unfaithful wife. And so the image of a wife changes with time. There are times it is positive, there are times it is negative. Now in this text, she is that unfaithful wife who disobeyed God and led her husband and the entire creation out of paradise. But there is hope at the end. She is the mother of all the living. Now, in Isaiah 49, God himself, verse 15, is a mother. And therefore, motherhood is that which is opened to life. I take that again. Motherhood is that which is opened to life. It is impossible to be a mother when you are not opened to life. And so it ends on this beautiful note of the woman, the wife, now becoming the mother who is opened to life and who is opened to restoration. That which was lost through the disobedience of a wife is restored through a mother. Now, Mary assumes all these three designations. First, Mary is also a woman. And it is the reason in John chapter 2, Jesus will call her woman. What have I to do with you? My hour has not yet come. She is the new woman who does not only obey God, 
but also leads humanity to obey God as a wife, as a faithful wife, the wife of Joseph. The first wife led all of us to disobey. The second wife, the ideal wife, will not only obey by herself, but also lead all of us to obey, to obedience. And in John chapter 2, verse 5, she says, do whatever he tells you. And then finally, in John chapter 19, verse 27, Jesus says to the beloved disciple, behold your mother. She is a woman, she is a wife, she is a mother. In the first woman, the first wife, the first mother, we disobeyed and we lost paradise. In the second woman, the second wife, the second mother, we are called to obedience and faithfulness to God. And our friendship with God is restored. Paradise is now given back to humanity because she is full of grace, overshadowed by the power of God. And in her, all humanity come back to God. Shall we rise and profess our faith? I believe in one God, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God. Both before all ages, God from God, light from life, true God from true God, begotten not consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who the Father and the Son is our God and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Graciously accept the saving sacrifice which we offer you, O Lord, on the solemnity of the Immaculate Conception of the Blessed Virgin Mary and grant that as we profess her on account of your prevenient grace, to be untouched by any stain of sin, so through intercession we may be delivered from all our faults through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you preserved the most blessed Virgin Mary from all stain of original sin, so that in her endowed with the rich fullness of your grace, you might prepare a worthy mother for your son and signify the beginning of the church, his beautiful bride without spot or wrinkle. She, the most pure virgin, was to bring forth a son, the innocent lamb who wiped away our offenses. You place her above all others to be for your people an advocate of grace and a model of holiness. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim.
Are indeed holy, O Lord, the fountain of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts to be prayed by sending down your service upon them like the dew fall, so that it may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and given thanks, broke it, and gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more given thanks, he gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be guided into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of church, Tudor Francis, our Pope, and William, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant, Melvin, whom you've called from this world to yourself. Grant that he was united with your son in a death like his, may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleaded throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in each of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is forever and ever. At the Savior's command and by divine teaching, we dare to say, Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, we said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace, I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant a peace and reach in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other a sign of peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Jesus who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. May the sacrament we have received, O Lord our God, heal in us the wounds of that thought from which in a singular way you preserved the Blessed Mary in her immaculate conception through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. And your mighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Have a wonderful weekend. You've been listening to the Daily Mass from St. Francis of Assisi Catholic Church in West Des Moines on the Iowa Catholic Radio Network.